Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that often comes up when you're exploring Linux. The differences between a window manager and a desktop environment. If you've ever wondered why some distros come with just a window manager while others boast a full desktop environment, then this video is for you. Let's start by discussing what a window manager is. Simply put, a window manager is the component that handles the placement and appearance of windows on your screen. It controls how you interact with your open applications, such as moving, resizing, or closing them. Popular choices like i3, Openbox, or even IceWM are great examples. They are typically minimal and highly customizable, making them ideal. If you want to build your own unique workflow without any unnecessary overhead. Now, Let's contrast that with a desktop environment. A desktop environment is essentially an entire ecosystem built on top of a window manager. It usually includes additional components like a file manager, panel, system tray, and a suite of integrated applications that provide a, a cohesive user experience. Think of environments like GNOME, KDE Plasma, or XFC. These setups come with a full set of utilities and tools, making them complete systems out of the box. They are designed for ease of use and often boast polished graphical interfaces that offer a consistent and integrated experience. When it comes to choosing between the two, there are a few things to consider. With a standalone window manager, you have complete control over every aspect of your desktop. This means you can create a super fast, lean system that only includes the features you need. For instance, if you prefer keyboard-driven workflows, Styling window managers like i3 or Sway can really boost your productivity by keeping your environment streamlined and free of distractions. However, the learning curve can be steep. Configuring a standalone window manager often means editing configuration files and spending time fine-tuning your setup. But if you invest that time, the result is a highly personalized system. On the other hand, a desktop environment offers an all-in-one experience. It comes preloaded with tools and utilities that cover nearly every aspect of daily use, from file management to network settings and multimedia handling. This can be a huge benefit. If you're new to Linux or if you prefer things to work out of the box with minimal setup. Additionally, a desktop environment provides an integrated look and feel. Everything from system settings to applications, shares a similar design language, which makes navigation simpler and the overall experience more visually appealing. However, this convenience does come at a cost. Desktop environments tend to use more system resources compared to minimal window managers. Some environments like XFCE or LXQT do try to strike a balance by offering a full desktop experience without being overly heavy on your hardware. Deciding which option is best really depends on your specific needs and how you use your computer. If you're running Linux on older hardware or if you love the idea of uh, customizing every little detail of your workflow, a window manager might be the way to go. Conversely, if you're a casual user or someone transitioning from another operating system, a desktop environment can provide a more familiar integrated experience right from the start. 